Hi YouTube, this is Betty Confetti and I am going to try a new thing. This is my Dead Mall series. I am currently in, what is this, Voorhees, New Jersey. And this is the form, formerly known as the Echelon Mall, which is now the Voorhees Town Center. And I will be entering and I will be showing you the inside of the Dead Mall. Like this is the old, like this is the Boscovs. Like they've got like different things for like as seen on TV. I mean, they got the stuff, and yes, I still have the glove on. I'll take it off next time. They have, like, all the as seen on TV things, like this is the under the bed boot organizer. I guess that could be useful for tongue tie, useful for somebody. I guess it wouldn't be myself. And I actually need one of these because I was thinking about doing a drive through through Camden and showing like the different neighborhoods, but I don't want one that just sits on the dashboard or anything I have to look down at because that could be problematic. And they got the flex tape. And they got all this stuff here. Okay. So different things. I got the escalators to go upstairs. I, if I feel like going upstairs, I may. And this is like all the ruby movers. Okay, so this is like something you put under your couch or something heavy. And you could just slide it across the room instead of like scraping your floor and messing it up. I almost said the F word. I want to be monetized, so I'm not going to do that. And this is like all the kid stuff. And I noticed like they still have like that neon light you see right there. Like back in the 90s, they used to have that. Yeah. And selling plates and things like that. I think I have to slow down while I'm walking through. Show you everyone the different stuff that they got going on here. I guess I'll utilize silence sometimes because I don't want to be that YouTuber that talks and talks and talks and just for themselves. Okay, I, I don't remember back in the day what this used to be, but this is like, um, what is this called? It's called Cutting Crew. I think this is like a hair salon. I'm not sure if it's a black hair salon or a white one, but I'm assuming it's white, but they seem like they're out of business. I actually don't remember what store used to be here. But this one is gone as well. Hmm. I actually remember towards the end, like when I was a teenager, that this right here was a pay half. And if you don't know what pay half was, pay half was a store where it was just like cheap, like clothing, kind of like it was re like reminiscent of like rainbow or something like that and you would come in here and like they had all the clothing on display with the mannequins and all right here and you would see them there and you would go in here and and it was pretty cool and I think they turned this eventually into like a rug store but as you see it's currently not there I don't remember what this space used to be this one I don't remember at all but I think it was like some activity places and then at this was too, community meeting zone. I guess it's like somewhere where people in the community can go and like hang out. It looks like this is like Boy Scouts. So I guess maybe Girl Scout and Boy Scouts would come here and like sell their products or something like that. So yeah, by reservation only. I'm about to turn around. And throw and, and leave it a comment in the comment section and let me know like do you want to hear the voiceover from me talking? But some people just can't come to see the uh you know, some people just come to see the the video and not actually uh listen to people. I don't remember what store this was. This as far as I remember was things remembered for many years and in the back in the day like in the early 2000s and 90s i don't know if this was even here but this was the things remembered at the echelon mall which is now the Voorhees town center and i had they i remember they had everything on display here and you could go inside and they had anything any typical things remembered would have unfortunately is gone they have i don't remember what this was because i i really don't remember this at all That's what it is now. And across the way, they had the city grill. 
Um, and this was like an arcade kind of deal. It was like an arcade place. And then they also had the, um, the, uh, the food in arcade. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. And this was called Tilt. And you would come in here and they had like different arcade type games and things like that. Yeah, it looks like it's gone now, unfortunately. Wow. It was really fun here. Like if you've never been here, if you're too young to remember it or didn't, it wasn't a thought back when this was open. This place was the place to be. And this was another clothing store. I can't remember the name of it, but it was like one of those affordable ones too. It's been gone for years. It's been like five, six years, I think it's been. And now they have the food court. It really doesn't have much food to court like they used to. I'm gonna take a walk through here. Like this, I don't remember what it was years ago, but I know like this is the energy so nice to come here. They have really good juice here. Unfortunately, they're long gone. And then across the way there was a K Jewelers. I think they went out of business like two, three years ago. I can't remember how long ago it's been. It's been a while. How you doing? They had it like, I had a restaurant here. I don't remember what it was, but they put this chalkboard up where people can just come by and like write things, but they don't supply the chalk anymore. So now that was just like a memory of what it once was. I don't know what this really is right here. There's people working, so I'm not gonna record them. But this is like the restrooms. I'm not going back there. I think this is like a cheesesteak place they used to have here. And this used to be the Chick-fil-A right over here. I remember this from like back when I was a kid. Like I used to want Chick-fil-A so bad, it smelled so good. And now I can afford it. And I realize it's not as good as I once to remember it being, I guess, cause I can get it. Just something right there. This was a pizza place, and this wasn't even that long ago. This this had to have been maybe a year ago, and there was a pizza place right here that was here for years. Now they're not the thing anymore. And this is that the Bruce Lee Chinese restaurant. They never really used his name, but they used his image. And I remember this being a subway. And like you can see like, it's all empty now. It's all empty. So now, I, I don't remember what this was. I think this is part of food court as well, but now they have it where, um, they have this boxing thing and they're actually really nice so if you live in south jersey this is a pretty cool place to like get your exercise and all that other stuff and the people that own this are actually very nice and we're back to the k jewelers Over that way is just the karate place I just mentioned, like right over here. And then there's this was a Yankee candle. 
this place I'm about to walk up to, but now it's called Voorhees Art Center. Yeah, this was a Yankee candle, and they sold those really expensive candles that I think are overrated. My personal opinion. This was... I mean, this Verizon store is still holding strong. That's pretty good for them. I like this right here. This used to be Victoria's Secret, and I used to come here a lot because, like, if you go to, like, Cherry Hill Mall or Deptford Mall or anything like that, the mall was always packed, and you could come here and get something because a lot of people already thought this mall was out of business, and it was easy to get whatever you needed because it was here. But then sometimes it could be, it might not be here, so it was like a, a hit or miss kind of thing. This was the cookie stand years ago, and they used to sell these little cookies. I forget what they were called, USA cookies. I'm gonna uh, Google it when I get home, and I'll just put like an image over of what it was. And you could come here and get your cookies. And you could get cookie cakes as well. And I remember they would always hire like teenagers to work here, and now they're gone. And I'm surprised that this place is gone because um, it seemed like they were actually doing pretty decent even though they didn't have any um, real footwork here, I guess. And I think this was finish line, right? This store right here. And this is the karate studio across the way. Hmm. This is new. I've never seen this before. I don't feel like paying for that right now. Not unless a subscriber would like to send a couple bones through the uh, Cash App. Help the sister out. <laughs> I remember, uh, I actually don't remember what this was. If anyone remembers like half of what these stores are, just like pin the time and like just put it in the comment section and we can like converse about what it once was. I didn't know the nail salon went out of business. They were here for a while. And I remember this like this was yesterday. This used to be Hot Topic. And I used to come here when I was younger because it was like the closest one we had, aside from the one in Cherry Hill Mall that was, you know, in Cherry Hill. And they changed this into like Adventureland. I actually don't remember what they used to sell here, but yeah, and that was gone. It's part of the dead mall. And this used to be GameStop. And I remember like in the early 2000s, we would come here and I got, I think I got my, um, I got my Sega Genesis games here when I was growing up, like I was a big Sonic fan. And I think I also got another Sega Genesis. I think my old one broke. And this was the place to be like all the gamers and everyone. So this was like the corner for like, if you were a gamer slash like goth person at that time was goth and then transitioned over to emo and then it was seen. But if you were any of those two or like a, a combination of them, oh yeah, this was like where you, where you would be and hang out. I think this was like the second entrance they had and now it's like, barricaded off and this used to be like the, the Payless shoe store right here I remember this and this has been out of business for a long time and that's me I'm just not gonna record my face because I was like, super tired but this was the Payless for many 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 years Let's see the Payless we have this little corner for kids to play in. I 
I am fortunate enough that the Bath and Body Works is open because after I'm done with this series, I'm going in there and I'm gonna get the little hand sanitizer that smell scrumptious. This, if this is ever something else. Yeah, I don't remember what this is right here. And I remember this like it was yesterday. This was strawberry strawberries. Yep. No, strawberries is no longer. Let's see. And they got little signs about like you're under surveillance and stuff like that. And this has been gone for years. I can't remember like how many years it's been since strawberries has been gone. And it's funny because they never I don't think they placed anything else here. Yeah, I don't think they placed anything else at the Strawbridges. That's the T-Mobile store I will not be going into. Oh, dang. I didn't realize that they only had the downstairs escalator, not the up. So I have to go back to the opposite side of the mall and go upstairs. And this is the exit if you want to go outside. So I'm going to turn the video off and edit and put it all together.